Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Sam, and today we have got the Chili Blanket, which is a weighted blanket that I'm really excited to try because it is the only one that I know of that actively cools as you use it. So let's check it out. See what we've got. Okay, it comes nicely packaged. Ooh, this looks really soft. Off the bat, you know what this looks like? This looks like a shower mat. A shower mat? Yeah, like when you step out of the shower, you know what I'm talking about? All right, so here's the blanket. It comes with the hose to hook it up for the cooling effect. It's really, really soft. This is like the, the uh, blanket that we sleep with, that kind of like microfiber thing. It's super soft. Very soft indeed. I'm excited to try it out. You, it's like, it's just like the chili pad. Like you can feel the little wires in here where the water is gonna run through, but I'm super excited to see how this works. And I will say this is like a, this is a single person unit. So this is not like a whole king size comforter situation. All right, so we've got our chili pad unit here and it's just the same hose attachment. You hook it from the blanket to the unit. Obviously this is not in the bed with you, but we just kind of wanted to show you how it works. So everything is hooked up. You just plug it into the port back here and then you fill with distilled water. As you can see, setup on this was super easy. It took us like, no more than five minutes. Um, and what's cool about this is not only does it cool, but it also heats up. Show you the lowest this will go is 55 degrees. And then the warmest it will go is 110. So there's a wide variety of uh, temperature settings. I'm gonna turn this down as low as it goes though. Why would anyone wanna go that hot? My mother would probably sauna herself out and go 110 degrees with this thing. <laughs> In the winter time, I don't know, it's almost like a, you know, a heated blanket. But I'm interested to try it out, see how it feels throughout the night. So we're gonna get this on the ground, get it set up the way it actually should be. We're gonna sleep with it tonight and we will come back tomorrow and let you know our thoughts. So let's try out the chili pad the first time, woo! Super soft, like microfibery. And uh, yeah, so we have the Uller cooling system on the bottom and the blanket on top. So we have to really, you know, test this out tonight, see how cool it gets. But this could be like the ultimate cooling system from the top to the bottom here. Perfect for Phoenix summers. We'll catch you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it's the first night with the chili blanket. It's really cold. I turned it on for a few hours. It's actually, it's actually a little too cold. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, it feels pretty cold. What do you mean? What do I oh, think? it's freaking cold. Well, yeah, I guess you don't have it. Only I have it. <laughs> so we're going to give you guys the first night. I'm going to turn it up a few degrees here. First night on the blanket. I felt secure. I was actually a little too cold. So I had to turn it off halfway through the night. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right. Well, first night was a success. Stay tuned for more nights. Ugh. So it has been three days. Oh, hold on. It's been three days with the chili blanket. Here's my thoughts. Number one, it is pretty heavy sleeping with it all night. So if you're really not, if you're not sure if you like gravity blankets or weighted blankets, get a cheap one. I bought this one on Amazon. I reviewed it. You can check out the link below. So if you're not sure if you like gravity blankets, you can buy a cheap one. And if you figure out you love them, definitely check out the chili blanket. And my second suggestion is that you should actually turn on the chili pad for about maybe an hour or two before bed. I found that it really helps with cooling it down. Otherwise, if you jump right into it, it's gonna be fighting your body heat. So my, my experience was much better if I kind of gave it time to pre, pre, pre cool. And my third suggestion is actually to wear less clothing because you're gonna have less insulation between you and the tubes. So uh, I found that if I was wearing shorts or underwear, that was the best. That was when I was the coolest. So do, you know, don't, don't wear a ton of layers with this thing and you're gonna feel the effects much better. And my fourth tip is actually using uh, cleaning products. This is hydrogen peroxide and this is some compressed air. And so what I would recommend is every three or four months cleaning out your machine, you can pour some hydrogen peroxide, you can clean off the fans, make sure that the machine is running really well and it's super clean. There's also cleaning products on their website, but really if I've noticed after about three or four months, it's not as cool anymore. That's because it's summertime and because I haven't cleaned it out. So check out the cleaning supplies. You know, you want to keep this in tip top shape. And the other thing I discovered with gravity blankets is that they are, there's different sizes, different weights. You're supposed to be like right around 10% of your body weight with the chili 
chilly blanket, you're stuck with one size, one weight. So if you're larger or smaller, that might be bigger or smaller than you need. But right now, this is kind of like one size fits all. And then I discovered I was not sleeping with it all night. I was sleeping with this for maybe a few hours and then I would roll it over. Um, I just didn't really like the feeling of being weighted down all night. That's just my personal thing. Um, I could see myself using this for, for TV watching or snuggling. Um, but you know, I just didn't find myself comfortable, you know, eight hours with a with a weight on me. So you know, you might like that, you might not like that. But it was easy to just kind of move like that in the middle of the night. And because we have the Uller system right here and the chili blanket on top, it was like wait, like the first few nights were too cold. So I kind of figured it out. I kind of like tuned it up just a little bit. And then the temperature outside in Phoenix was way too hot. So it actually wasn't working as well when it was really hot at night. So just keep that in mind. But if you're looking for the ultimate weighted blanket, check this one out in the link below. I should save you guys some money down there. If you have any questions, let me know. Click right here for the Uller video. That's this uh, unit right here. And right over here for mattress videos. And right here to subscribe. We'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Thank you.